Hello lovelies, Dr. Maria is here. Today we're revising chapter 6, Managing Natural Hazards. We got to talk about earthquakes and volcanoes first, so let's have a look. First you have to know the earth structure. We got inner core, then outer core, then mantle. After that we got the crust. You don't have to learn these numbers, but you have to know the state and the material just in case. Tectonic plate, it's a piece of lithosphere that moves slowly. It's made of crust and upper mantle. The plate boundaries. The plate boundaries are where two or more plates meet. We got constructive. It's divergent. And you can remember this by A, C. A is away. And C is constructive. Okay? That happens when two oceanic plates move away from each other, the magma rises to the surface, and the magma turns into lava. New basaltic ocean crust, this can form shield or basic volcanoes, you have to know the types of volcanoes, so shield or basic volcanoes can happen. That is non-explosive eruption, and it's known as the sea floor spread or ridge bush. Small earthquakes are triggered here. If two continental plates move away from each other, a rift valley might form. Next, we got destructive, and that's more serious. Two plates move towards each other. It's an oceanic plate and continental plate, where the oceanic plate is subducted under the continental plate. This happens in the subduction zone, and the ocean trench is formed. Friction between the plates triggers earthquakes. The heat produced due to the friction, it causes pressure. Okay, and that pressure um, is released in a form of tremors, okay? So the magma starts to rise and erupt due to the pressure through weakness in the crust as an explosive composite volcano. Fold mountains are also formed. The magma that erupts at the surface forms a chain of volcano islands called Island Arc. If two continental plates move towards each other, the sediments between the two plates are compressed and pushed, to, and pushed upwards to form fold mountains. Earthquakes occur, but no volcanic activity as there is no subduction of oceanic plate. Then we got the third type of plate boundary, which is conservative. Conservative is when the plates slide past each other. They move in different speeds. The plates get locked together and pressure buildup happens, released as an earthquake. The magnitude or the strength of the earthquake is measured by richer scale using a decimal meter. Distribution and causes of volcanoes. It happens due to tectonic activities, as we said earlier, forming constructive destructive plate boundaries and hotspots. Distribution and causes of earthquakes, as we mentioned, is caused by tectonic activity, uh, occur mostly on destructive and constructive plate boundaries. Okay, earthquakes. We got focus, okay, where the earthquakes begin underground. The epicenter is the point on the surface above the focus. Seismometer is the instrument used to measure the magnitude of earthquakes. The factors that affect the impact of earthquake, we got here the location of the epicenter, the time of the earthquake, its location, geology, the relief of the area, severity of the aftershock, the level of development of the human settlement, the population density, and building density and strength. This is very important. Revise this well. Tropical cyclones. So we got three important points to know about cyclones. Cyclones is when uh, cyclones happens when temperature at 27 degrees celsius it, the ocean depth is 60 meter and the conditions occur between 5 to 20 north and south to have sufficient coriolis effect and that make and that and that makes the air spin distribution of tropical cyclones between 5 and 20 north to south and they do not form on the equator because of the coriolis effect is zero at the equator the air at the equator tends to flow straight from high pressure to low pressure without any rotations. Flooding. So flooding happens due to heavy rain, prolonged rainfall, snow melt, land relief, saturated soil, storm surges such as tsunamis. Heavy rainfall reduces the infiltration, increases the overland flow, prolonged rainfall, saturates the soil, causes the water table to rise, due reducing the infiltration capacity, snow melt, overflow. Niger leaves steeper gradients lead to faster over water overflow. 
saturated soil, the more saturated, the lesser infiltration happens, so more overland overflow. Storm surges and tsunamis cause flooding. Human causes such as deforestation, cultivation, urbanization, and climate change. Deforestation reduces interception and infiltration mentioned in chapter 4. Bluffing down rather than across slopes increases due to cultivation. Urbanization, concrete, and tarmac, they are impermeable substances or surfaces, they prevent infiltration. Climate change, global warming may lead to rise in sea levels because the glaciers and the ice caps, they melt. Drought, what are the causes of droughts? That's the lake of rain caused by prolonged high pressure. Effect of El Nino Southern Oscillations and La Nina. The El Nino causes the surface water in the Pacific Ocean along the South America to be warmer. These warmer waters alters the storm pattern and can cause drought in Australia. Whereas the La Nina causes the temperature of the water along the South America to decrease. The cooler conditions cause drought in parts of North and South America. Effect of climate change. Warmer worldwide temperature causes rainfall to decrease, leading to drought. Impacts of natural hazards, like tectonic events, damage to buildings and infrastructure, fires, tsunamis hit the coastlines, landslides covered buildings and roads, destructions of farmlands leading to starvation, loss of wildlife, therefore decrease in biodiversity, water-related diseases such as water, cholera, and typhoid, Water is also contaminated, again, typhoid and cholera, loss of life, trauma, poor mental health, financial losses repairing when repairing the damage. Impact of tropical cyclones, flooding from storm surges and heavy rainfall, loss of lives, damages of buildings, disruption of electricity and transportation, waterborne diseases, economical loss, damages of crops again, and loss of wildlife habitats. Impact of flooding. Again, loss of life, damages of buildings, contamination of water, loss of crops, deposition and siltation, recharge the um, groundwater stores, rivers may change course, financial losses when repairing the damage. Impact of droughts, water sources dry up, declining crop yields, loss of crops, decrease in land prices, the farmers lose the money, migration from rural to urban, Unemployment, increase in food prices, health problems such as malnutrition or starvation, soil erosion leading to desertification, increased risk of wildlife, sorry, increased risk of wildfires and poor air quality, conflicts over water usage and food. Okay, managing the impact of these natural hazards, we got volcanoes. We have to predict by seismometers, the rising of magma, satellites there, the camera photographs, tilt meters. They are they measure the very subtle changes in the surface of the earth as magma accumulates. And emissions of steam gases such as sulfur dioxide. And sulfur dioxide is acidic, guys. It causes acid rain, as mentioned in chapter three. Preparation and protection, volcano hazard map, the lava diversion channels, spraying lava with water. Halting lava advance by dropping concrete slabs onto the flows, building reinforcements, sloping roofs to protect against the ashfall. Earthquake. We got predictions, monitoring the tremors using seismometers, epicenters and frequencies, measurement of local magnetic field, hazard zone map can be drawn and unusual um, animal behavior. Operation and protection for earthquakes, earthquake proof and aseismic buildings. Smart meters, the switch of gas supplies prevent fires, land use planning. Tropical cyclone prediction, tracked by satellites, preparation like cyclone shelters and preserve mangrove swamps that will prevent the cyclones. The flooding prediction, monitoring the amount of rainfall and river discharge, using the features of drainage. Preparation and protection is hard engineering projects such as leaves and flood barriers like dams. Soft engineering projects such as air frustrations like building trees, increasing the river channel, clearing the vegetations, land use, planning to restrict development on food plains, use sandbags and pumps, adapt houses to position power sockets 1.5 meters above the ground level, 
such as in Indonesia and these countries, because they're high risk in flooding. Then drought. Monitoring precipitation and temperature. Preparation and protection is increased water supplies, like dams, reservoirs, wells, water conservation, like storage tanks, agricultural improvements, buns to increase infiltrations, government supplies, water, food, and medicine. Opportunities presented by, sorry, before that, the main thing you should say in anything in order to prevent such natural hazards, you have to say, raise awareness, okay, about preparation, raise awareness, provide shelters, medical aid, international aid, water supply, like clean water supplies, such as bottled water, food, nutrition, rescue teams, anything that literally makes sense to protect and like prevent or prepare against any natural hazards, okay? But education is a very easy and most important point to write in this, so don't forget that point. And it works in all natural hazards. Opportunities presented by natural hazards. Individual may want to be near family and friends. They cannot leave the place, okay, because they don't have anywhere else to go. They don't have money. Employment opportunities for tourism, confidence in prediction, preparation, protection. This is the most important point in here. No choice in moving, okay? It's too expensive to move. After volcanic eruption, the soils are very fertile, which will increase the high crop yield, making more income. The scenery can be spectacular. More mining there, geothermal energy, because the under earth is gonna be very hot. Possibility of mining for gold and diamonds. Living near rivers may provide source of water and food for drinking and irrigation. Communications may be easier. Flat land on either side is available for building on. That was it for chapter 6 revision. I hope it helped you in some way. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you all for watching.